National Bank and Trust is a proud sponsor of this Carthage Tiger first pitch. Loyalty, hard work, and dedication are key elements of any successful team. And Community National Bank and Trust appreciates everyone's efforts in making the Carthage Tigers a success this year. As a valued member of the Carthage community, Community National Bank and Trust is there to be a reliable teammate for you and your family. The local bank that's small enough to know you, yet big enough to serve you. Community National Bank and Trust, member FDIC. The penmanship of the coach for Diamond, he, his dad must have been a pharmacist because I was trying to translate it, so hopefully we'll get that corrected if I'm pronouncing it wrong. G. Martinez singled off the shortstop's glove, and Adam Brown has walked, so it's first and second, and a no-ball one-strike count. Now Cole steps off. Third game of the day. Moments ago, Lamar took care of Sir Coxey by a score of 11-2. Here's a look back at second and the pitch. Hit past the mound. Second baseman will get it, bobble it. He'll have to go to first and out over there, but the runners do move along. Or did they get the second? They got the man at second? Couldn't tell from this vantage point. Apparently they got him doubled off. So the other runner moves to third, and there's two outs, so it goes 4-3 on the double play. Vantage point is up the first base side, and second base is right behind a pole. So... I apologize for that. So, but, uh, so it is a 4-3 double play, and the pitch is a strike called. Tigers have Braden Tate at third, Brady Carlton at short, Mason Adams at second, Nolan Brown at first, and Cooper Lillenkamp in left, Langston Morgan in center, Ethan Stark in right, and Zach Hohenshell behind the plate. Cole now trying to get out of the inning, a swing and a miss. Grady Bentley at the plate. He's the third baseman for Diamond. He's down in the count 0-2, one pitch away from killing what was a promising inning. Remains to be seen, and here's the 0-2, and just missed. One ball, two strikes. Four batters in, a leadoff single, a walk, a double play. And 1-2 to this hitter, which is Bentley. Two glances to third by Cole on the pitch. is in the dirt. Now to leave it at two piece, two apiece. Started out 0-2 to Bentley. It's now even at two and then trying to finish this one off. Here's the pitch. And he pops it foul. It'll go out of play behind us. So it remains two and two. Cole last year pitched in a lot of tough luck. He was getting outs, but the defense a couple times, a couple games we did, let him down. Hopefully that is short up this year. Two two and the pitch. Way high. Now it's full. But you don't want to throw yourself further into the inning now. He's in danger of that. So from 0-2 to 3-2, runner at third. No score, two outs top first, and this one's fouled away. A nice hack there by Bentley, but out of play. He actually went after ball four, it looked like. He'll step out of the box, and I think Owen Shell, with a Tiger catcher, moves a couple of steps toward the third base dugout where Carthage is anchored for the day. Now we're ready. The 3 2. Line shot. Hello, but well foul. Went off the park and rec building down there, down the left field line. Been a few years since I've been here, but things haven't really changed much here in this ballpark. Another 3 2 pitch. That is strike three on the corner, and Bentley doesn't like it. He skips partway to first, but that ends the inning. It looked a little low, but Carthage will take it. So no runs, and one stranded. The double play took one runner off. We go to the bottom of the first. Carthage coming up, no score. Back in 90 seconds, this is Tiger Baseball, Music Radio 93.5. 
Fire Acres Family Y cheers on the Carthage Tigers. The coaches, players, and their families all deserve a hearty congratulations and a sincere thank you for their sacrifice and hard work. As Fair Acres Family Y works to build strong kids, strong families, and strong communities, they know that good sportsmanship goes a long way in developing one's character. Fair Acres Family Y is proud to be part of Carthage and a proud sponsor of Carthage Tiger Broadcasts. Go Tigers! We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or a new boat, or a new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. I'm Adam Bridges. And I'm Lauren DeBeauty, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance Agents. And we've got you covered through all of life's wins. Go, Go Tigers! Tigers. Would Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram cheer on our Tigers? They want to recognize the hard work and sacrifices that the parents and coaches and their families make to help our student athletes be their best during and between games. And don't forget, the next time you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, keep Wood, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in mind. Parts, service, sales, and financing, everything in one place. Save a trip and shop Carthage. Wood, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, part of Wood Motor Company. A solid name you can trust. Go Tigers! And they did not score. Carthage lineup will be Mason Adams, the second baseman, leading off. Langston Morgan bats second in center field. Ethan Stark plays right. Zach Hohenschel, he's the catcher, and he is in the four spot. Nolan Brown is at first base. Brody Cole, the pitcher, he'll bat six. Brady Carlton, the shortstop. In the seven, Blaine Lillenkamp is the DH for Braden Tate. Tate plays third. And Cooper Lillenkamp is the ninth place hitter. He's in left. Leading off for Carthage, second baseman, number two, Mason Adams. So Adams will come in on the right side. It is Marbaugh on the mound for Diamond. Here's the pitch, and it goes outside for a ball. And an infield single in the walk, but Diamond got nothing out of it. Here is the 1-0, and it goes outside. Tigers will play tomorrow against Lamar at 3.30, and then they'll come back Monday to play Butler at 3.30. In the pitch, down and away. Count is 3-0. Our next broadcast will be from uh, Aurora at 3 o'clock next Thursday against Stratford. So they'll have a few games in hand the time we get back to you on the air. Strike is called, and it's 3-1. and one. Adams, Morgan, and Stark for Carthage. And the pitch. Check swing goes foul over the diamond dugout. Stepping back in is Adams, and he'll tap the plate. Now he's ready. Count moves to 3-2, and he strikes out looking. So it's a 3-0 start. Barbaugh came back and got him. Here's Langston Morgan. Now then, center fielder, number eight. Langston He'll Morgan. go from the right side, and he can run if he gets on. Here's the pitch. He'll square to bunt, pull it back. It's down and away for a ball. No score, bottom of the first. Next pitch on the way, and it goes on the corner for a strike. So one ball, one strike. And the next one, a little little curve and it goes down and in. Everybody gave it a look. The umpire said nope, it's two and one. And the next one. Ooh, where was that one? <laughs> it's three and one. That looked good from back here. So three balls on the strike. It's rather hard to see home plate from this vantage point, so I guess I should hedge my opinions there. Swing and a miss. 
Now it's three and two. Morgan ready, doesn't go out of the box, comes in, and it's ball four. Strikeout, now walk, and said you get him on base, things can happen. Here is Ethan Stark, the Carthage right fielder. It's Austin Gardner in left for Diamond. Thomas Gow in center, Cade Adams in right. Grady Bentley at third. Adam Brown at short, Matt Navarro at second. Braden Clement at first. Cody Neal behind the plate. The Marball on the mound, it's up high for a ball. Morgan thought about it, came back from first. Here's a look and a throw to first, and it is not in time. The first baseman held it on the helmet for a second. So one ball, no strikes, and the pitch. Stark looks at it, thought about swinging. It's a strike anyway, and it's one and one. Ball and a strike. No score here in the bottom of the first. Pitcher steps off, and now he's back and ready. And the pitch, down and away. So it's two balls and a strike. Well, Morgan's going, and the pitch is a swing and a miss, and he will have it stolen easily. Doesn't even slide. Pitcher hadn't even started his windup yet, and he was off. So a stolen base has him at second base with one out. It's two balls, two strikes to Ethan Stark. So contact somewhere, somehow. Here's the pitch. And on the corner, nice pitch. Off speed. And there's two gone. So it'll be up to Zach Owen Jill. Now back to the catcher, number six, Zach Owenshell. Owenshell, a right-handed hitter, and Morgan, he's off and running again. The pitch is a ball. The throw is almost into left field. It does roll a little bit off into the grass, but Morgan steals that one, too, so he's at third with two outs. So two stolen bases. Now we need the hit. A walk and two stolen bases. The runner at third. And the pitch. And outside, 2-0. and oh. Two and 2-0 oh to Hohenschel in the delivery. Another off speed, and that'll catch the outside part. So it's two balls and a strike. Marbaugh working very quickly, and he... This is popped up by Hohenschell, and it'll go out of play. So two balls and two strikes. He already has two strikeouts. And the even pitch is in the dirt, gets away. Morgan is headed to the plate. He is going to be safe. Pitcher dropped the ball, and it's one nothing Carthage without the benefit of a hit. So the wild pitch scores the run. They had a play at the plate, and the catcher got to it in time, but then the throw handcuffed the pitcher, and he couldn't make a tag. They had a chance at him. So without a hit, Tigers have a 1-0 lead. It's three balls, two strikes to Hohenschell on the pitch. That's ball four. So right now, Marball is making a little quilt. Strike out, walk, strike out, walk. And Owen Shell will get a courtesy runner. That'll be Caleb York. Courtesy runner number 11. Caleb York with the game. So coming in on the left side, Nolan Brown, a left-handed hitting first baseman, my kind of guy. That's what I was. Long
long time before this at bat's going to start. It looks like umpire has to do some handiwork, and he did a little change on the score in there to get that pinch runner in. And looking to throw back to first. It's close and safe. Just got back. <laughs> Field umpire out there nodding his head slowly like, yep, just made it. Another throw to first and a little, a little bit more comfortable that time for York. Still went in head first. And now he goes. The pitch is into right center field, and the center fielder coming to it. Now the right fielder coming on. He'll make the catch. That is Kate Adams, and the inning is over. One run, no hits, and one stranded. Finished with one. one nothing Carthage over Diamond. Back here in 90 seconds, Tiger Baseball, Music Radio, 93.5. G3 Family Entertainment is coming this fall. Grab your family and friends and come experience the fun. G3 Family Entertainment features a 24-lane bowling alley, an exciting indoor playground for kids 2 to 12, a ninja tag arena, and a restaurant. Located behind Lowe's right here in Carthage. For updates and more information, please follow G3 Family Entertainment on Facebook. G3 Family Entertainment is a proud supporter of our Carthage Tiger student-athletes, and they can't wait for the fun to start. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I don't let anything come between me and my deals at McDonald's. I'm talking about buy one, get one for only a dollar. When I can choose one of my favorite sandwiches, like a melty cheeseburger, a tasty McChicken, or a delicious hot and spicy McChicken, and snatch another one for just one dollar. One thing about me, I know when to seize an opportunity, and I'm living for this deal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Your Carthage McDonald's restaurants, owned by the Marshall Rice family, a proud supporter of the Carthage Tigers. Tony Williams State Farm Insurance is a proud supporter of Carthage Tiger Athletics. If life has fouled you out of the game or you just need better coverage, Tony Williams and his experienced team can help get you back in the game with the best coverage for your specific needs. Auto, home, life, business, and more. In the office, over the phone, or online, there's several ways to get a free quote today. Tony Williams State Farm Insurance, located at 2232 Grand Avenue. Tony Williams says, Go Tigers! Long shot down the left field line, but it'll go way foul. So, so far, the diamond hitter's been hitting Cole, but uh, getting out in front of it. The next pitch from Cole is on the way. And curve hits the strike zone. Two ball, No balls and two strikes. Diamond got a base hit by Martinez. He got as far as third. A double play was right in the middle of that. Here's the next pitch. This one's flied into left. Backing up is Camp, and he will take it. Plenty of room. One gone. That'll bring up Austin Gardner, the left fielder. Left fielder, number 10. Gardner. Pitch is on the way, and it's up and in for a ball. Carthage got a walk, two stolen bases, and a wild pitch. Here's a shot into center, but it's going to go to Morgan. Nope, it's over his head. He'll go to the wall, at least a double. Batter heads for second. He'll hang on there with a one-out double. That thing just kept rising, and Morgan usually gets anything coming to him, and that one just took off. So Gardner gets him a double, the second hit for Diamond. So another unable to read the coach's writing. A Gardner looks like is what it says here. I got the lineup back with me looking at it. So we'll go with that until I get persecuted for it. Here is Matt Navarro, the second baseman for the Wildcats. Second baseman, number one, 
tomorrow. So he'll come in on the right side. One big swing. The tying runs at second base. Cole will bring it, and it goes high for a ball. Cole takes a little more time than Marbaugh does for Diamond. Gives a look back at second, second look. Third look. Pitch. Dribbled toward the third baseman. It's going to be a tough play. And Tate's throw is wild. Runner from third. He'll come around. He'll score. The other man to second. And it's a 1-1 game. So that'll be the first error of the game. And the runner scores from second base. Tate had a tough play. I'm not sure he would have got him on a good throw, but ball sailed on him. Here is Cody Neal. So Diamond comes back and matches Carthage. And the pitch. It's a strike. So now here's a runner bluffing toward third, and they chase him back to second. No balls and a strike to Neal. And Cole eventually will bring it. Runner doesn't go, and it's high, and it's 1-1. Some pitchers just prefer to slow it down when runner's on base. Right now, that's what Cole's doing. You naturally slow it down, but sometimes it seems like it takes a little longer than most pitchers. Here's the 1-1, and it's off the top of the bat foul back to the screen. So one ball, two strikes. 1-1 one, one game here in the second. Dime with two hits, Carthage with none, but they got to run across. Pitch coming. Now on the corner, got him. So two outs. Second strikeout for Cole. Brings in Kate Adams. So first time through the order for Diamond with this at bat. They try to get the lead with a two out something or other. Pitch coming. Way high and had him duck. One ball, no strikes. Leading away is Matt Navarro at second. Second baseman comes in a couple of steps toward the bag. The pitch, it's a strike off the glove, and the runner goes to third. So that'll be a pass ball. And the runner off to third with two outs. So the job increased a little more. Here's the pitch. The odds increased a little more for Diamond. Strike is called. One ball, two strikes. Cole got out of the last inning with a strikeout. Would like to do the same here. Hopefully put it in play and throw him out. One, two pitch. Ground ball to short for Carlton. And he fires across and out. And that ends the inning. But Diamond does pick up a run. They do it on a hit and an error, and they have left one, stranded two, inning and a half. Diamond one, Carthage one. Back in 90 seconds, this is Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. An athletic team relies on teamwork to reach its goals. A business depends on its staff to complement each other's strengths and function as a team to achieve its goals. The certified public accounting firm of Schmidt Associates wants to be a member of your team and help you reach your financial goals. Their small business accounting, payroll, and advisory services could help ensure your financial success. Call Schmidt Associates at 358-6090. Schmidt Associates, more than checks and balances. 
Is your office ready to be a workplace of the future? Does that mean whizzing around on hoverboards and robots answering phones? Maybe, but we'd suggest trying more useful technology first. Pierce and Kelly can set you up with tech that lets your whole team work from anywhere, collaborate on devices, and always have the information they need to do their job. Keeping up with technology can be stressful. We're here to simplify it for you. Whether your office has an internal IT team or not, we have options to fit your needs. Find us at pierceandkelly.com and let us make technology simple for you. The law firm of Webster and Carlton knows that it takes more than athletes to make a great team. From the coaches and teachers to parents and extended family, it takes the entire community to support our student athletes and make the Carthage Tigers a success. Webster and Carlton is a proud sponsor of this Carthage Tigers sports broadcast, and they salute everyone who are cheering for our Tigers. The law firm of Webster and Carlton offices in Joplin, 417-781-5690. Go Tigers and go Big Blue! Cole leads it off for Carthage. A little clunker toward the pitcher. Off the man, bobbles it, and just in time. Thought Cole was going to beat it out, but Marbaugh had it, dropped it, and then he made a strike over to first. Well, being a pitcher, he should. So there's one out. What looked like the leadoff man was going to reach turns into a 1 3 put out. Here is Carlton. The shortstop. Number one, Brady. Carlton. So Carlton, a right-handed hitter, and first man retired here in the bottom of the second for Diamond, and the pitch is held there by the catcher. It's ball one. <laughs> Next pitch, swing and a miss. Take it at one and one now. Carthage got a run with no hits in the first, and Diamond came back. Double and an error. Swing and a miss on a bad ball outside. Carlton down, one ball, two strikes. Next pitch. Grounded toward third. Taken in by Bentley, and he throws him out. So nobody on, two outs, and it's Blaine Lillian Camp. It's been a year or so since I've said that name, so <laughs> have to practice on getting it out. Now Number 25, Blaine Lillian Camp. Here's the pitch. Strike at the knees. And the next pitch, it is up and up and in. So a ball on the strike. One one the score here in the bottom of the second, and it's high on the next one. Two balls and a strike. Two one. Swing and a miss, and it's two and two. Carthy's got a one-out walk, two stolen bases by Morgan, then he scored on a wild pitch when Hohenshell was at the plate. That pitch goes just outside, and it's a full count. A 3-2 on the way and a swing and a miss out in front. And three strikeouts for Marbaugh. And Carthage goes in order in the second. We go to the third, diamond one, Carthage nothing. Back here in 90 seconds, Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Morning coffee run. Friday nights under the lights with your friends and family. We love the things you love about the Ozarks because we live here too. If you've been left on hold or in the dark or feel like just a number, you'll find the service and convenience you need at OMB, where we know your name, know your story, and love your community, because it's our community too. Visit us in person at 535 West Burr Road in Carthage or online at ombank.com. OMB, community banking made better. Member FDIC. 
Bimedic Insurance is a proud supporter of the Carthage Tigers. Smart coaches build great team members. They have a solid game plan and only have the best equipment for their players. Bimedic Insurance applies this same philosophy when putting together an insurance program to ensure your Carthage Tiger family or business. When scouting for insurance, the right agent for your team is Bimedic Insurance. Give Bimedic a call at 417-358-4007. Go Big Blue! Everyone at Carthage Water and Electric Plant wishes the Carthage Tigers a great season, not only in sports, but in scholastics as well. As your public power utility, we know the value of teamwork will pay dividends as our youth enter the workforce and their professional careers. Let's stay community-powered and cheer on our home team to win. Carthage Water and Electric Plant encourages you to get out and support our Carthage Tigers. Tickets, Diamond 1 and Carthage 1. A swing and a miss to G. Martinez, who got an infield single. He made it as far as third base in the first, but left there. Here's the 0-1 from Cole, and it is outside 1-1. One one. Diamond had an infield hit and a walk to start things, but a 4-3 double play pulled off by Adams and Brown, followed by a strikeout into that inning. Here's the pitch. Skims the dirt, and it's 2-1. Cole speeding it up a little bit more here with nobody on base, and the pitch is at the letters. <laughs> Martinez paused and looked out of the corner of his eye, now shakes his head. Two balls, two strikes. It'll even out one of these days. And, ooh, like that pitch right there, just outside, three and two. Well, he got his call back. Because that would look more of a strike than the previous one. Three balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss, he goes down. Three strikeouts for Cole. And here's Adam Brown. How about the shortstop? Brown drew a walk in the first. He was later erased in the front side of that double play. First pitch to him in his second at bat. That's down the middle for a strike. Next one. Reaches for one, missed it badly. It's 0 and 2. I actually asked for an appeal on that one. That was pretty obvious. So quickly 0 and 2 to Brown. And the pitch. Outside, 1 and 2. Run in the first for Carthage, one in the second for Diamond. And the pitch, swing and a miss in the dirt. They'll have to throw to first. And the play is good. Two gone. So the fourth strikeout for Cole, back to back here. That's the play, the pitcher, Marbo. And it's Marbo standing in. He hit into a crazy double play his first time, swing and a miss. Actually, he got a piece of it, but it's a foul ball anyway. It's a strike. And time is asked for by the hitter. Here's the 0-1, and it is just outside, 1-1. One and one. One, one on the count, 1-1 one, one the score. And it's now 2-1 and one as that one sails up. Owen shall have to stand straight up to grab that one. Nobody on, two out here in the top of the third and again apparently trying to get through the signals here as the pitcher and catcher will go and have a little conversation in front of the mound again Tigers will play tomorrow against the Lamar Tigers at 3.30 and 
they'll play the Butler Bears right back here at 3.30 on Monday. Our next broadcast will be against Stratford down in Aurora, and that's a 3 o'clock start. So that was the Roy Shaver Classic. I remember him at McDonald County, so apparently he has roots in Aurora, too. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. So it's two balls and two strikes. Next one on the way, and he goes after an off speed, flies it into right center, long way to go, but it's Morgan. He'll take it, and the inning is over. So both teams go in order. The last half innings, we go to the bottom of the third. It's Diamond 1 and Carthage 1. Back in, back in 90 seconds. Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. The owners, staff, and management at Sirloin Stockade wish the Carthage Tigers a successful year, not only in athletics, but also in the classroom. Sirloin Stockade knows that hard work and diligent effort are keys to achieving goals, and they look forward to those young students embracing the challenges of tomorrow. Sirloin Stockade is proud to be part of the Carthage Tiger broadcast, and they remind you to stop by before the game or during the weekend for a delicious meal that's just as good as home-cooked. Sirloin Stockade, 1027 West Central in Carthage. Carthage Tiger Sports is all about teamwork, dedication, and a commitment to excellence. Dr. Michael Woody and the team at Peachtree Dental support all of the players and coaches that make Tiger Sports so great. They offer a full range of treatment options that can be personalized to meet your unique needs and expectations, including orthodontics for all ages. Peachtree Dental always welcomes new patients of every age. For a better dental experience, give Peachtree Dental a call at 358-2233. Go Tigers! Just like a great coach, State Farm agent Jerry Poston at 1601 South Garrison in Carthage can help you develop a game plan for your insurance needs. Whether it's car, home, life, health, or business insurance, agent Jerry Poston can dig into the playbook and help you find the affordable coverage you need. When your life and goals change, agent Jerry Poston will be there to help you adjust your insurance game plan with a free family insurance checkup. So, for all of your insurance needs, call on a winner. State Farm agent Jerry Poston at 1601 South Garrison or call 417-358-5 off 9-1 and 2 for Carthage a 1-1 game here in the home half of the third home being at Lamar right now but here's the pitch swing and a miss no balls and a strike fortunately I wrote my lineup card in the correct order with Carthage on the bottom so they are the home team I lucked out there here's a pitch catches the bat just barely. It's 0-2. He tried to hold up. So it's no balls and two strikes. Next pitch to Cooper Lillenkamp is up and in. So it's a ball and two strikes. Carthage with no hits, but they have a run. There's a pitch down and in. Two balls and two strikes. Two two pitch. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. That's four strikeouts for Marbo. Mason Adams. Brings in Mason Adams. He was a strikeout victim. And uh, the first pitch coming for Marbo is on the corner and at the knees. Strike one. Next one. Pokes at it towards second. And Navarro will get to it and charge throw out. Two gone. It's now six in a row since a two out walk in the first for Marbo. Brings in Langston Morgan. He walked. He then stole second. One batter later stole third. And then ended up coming in on a wild pitch. He squares. 
It's going to be a good one, but the pitcher, I think, is going to get it in time and throw him out. He does. So it's now seven in a row, retired by Marbo, and we move to the fourth. It is Diamond 1, Carthage 1, back in another 90. Tiger Baseball, Music Radio, 93.5. J Builders is rooting on all our Carthage Tiger student athletes. J Builders LLC has over 25 years of experience and quality work. They provide a variety of construction services, including new home design and construction, home additions, and many more general contracting services. J Builders takes pride in their work and strives for excellence and timely completion of work on every job. For estimates and questions, please call J Builders at 793-1432 today. Tiger alum Justin Holdsworth and everyone on the J Builders team says, Go Tigers! When your little rookie takes a hard sack or fever has you benched, you need Mercy Now. Go to mercynow.net, answer a few questions, and find your best, quickest option for care. With virtual, in-person, digital, and urgent care visits, Mercy can get you off the IR and back in the game. Find your best play at mercynow.net. At Mercy, your life is our life's work. Tony Kennard with Wells Fargo Advisors cheers on our Carthage Tigers. Financial advisor Tony Kennard knows that any successful team plans for the future, works hard, and sets goals. Tony wants the best for Carthage's student body, who will be our community leaders in coming years. Tony Kennard with Wells Fargo Advisors is proud to be a part of this Carthage Tiger broadcast. Go Tigers! Wells Fargo Advisors is a trade name used by Wells Fargo Clearing Service, LLC, member SIPC, a registered broker dealer and non-bank affiliate of Wells Fargo & Company. We'll move to the fourth inning. Jim Taylor here with you, and it's a 1-1 ball game. Diamond matched Carthage after Carthage got a run without a hit. Diamond got an, a double and an error, throwing error, which caused that run to score. So unearned run for them. The pitch is down low for a ball to Grady Bentley. He struck out with a runner at third in the first. Diamond has had men on base except the previous one, they went in order. They have stranded two. Carthage just the one after Morgan scored, a walk followed, but then next man was retired. Here's the pitch. And it goes outside. Two balls and no strikes to Bentley, Clement, and Gerdner next. And the 2-0 is down and away. And it's three balls, no strikes. It's the first time he's fallen this far behind a hitter. He did give up a walk, but that was well into the count. Here's a 3-0. And just inside corner, strike three and one. Pops out of the catcher. Or pops away from the catcher. If it popped out, we'd have a story, but... Three balls and a strike. Next pitch. Swing and he just got a piece of it. Three and two. Swung at ball four. So the previous time Bentley was up, he was out on a 3-2 count. He faces that right here. Here it comes. On the corner, got him. And Cole struck out five. So here is Clement. He flied to left his first time up. Hit it rather well, but plenty of room for Lillenkamp out there. So nobody on one out for Diamond here in the fourth inning. Pitch is a strike. So the pitch was a strike, and now Owen Shell will go out and talk to Cole briefly and come back to the home plate area. No balls and a strike, and the pitch up high, 1-1. One, one. Hohenschel with that uh, 
kind of Tony Pena look. He's the first guy I remember doing that where he pretty much just sits down with the splits. Here's a ground ball in the hole, and that is going to be taken by Carlton, but the throw is going to be not in time. He beat it out. Good job by Carlton just getting to it and making a strong throw. He made it close. But it's a base hit for Clement. And that for Diamond is their third. At the plate, the left fielder, Gertner. Here is Austin Gerdner. He doubled. He scored the diamond run back in the second inning. We'll see what kind of runner Bentley is. Or pardon me, G Clement. And the pitch, swing and a miss. So nothing in one. Carthage are running the bottom of the first. Diamond matched it in the top of the second. And the pitch. That is hit hard down the left field line. Lillenkamp's not going to catch up to it. It'll go off the fence. The lead man heads for third. It'll be second and third. Here's a play to third, and just in time, that was... A little slow going by the lead man, Clement. I thought he easily made third, but they actually had a play over there. But it's back-to-back -back hits. So it's second and third. Second and third and one out in the 1-1 game. And we have a conversation on the mound. So Navarro will be the man for the moment as he will come to the plate after this conversation is over. We'll be on the air next Thursday from Aurora. And that'll be against Strafford, the Indians. Now as the conversation breaks up, the batter heads down to the third base coaching box. So we gotta wait for Navarro to come back. A one out single followed by a double. Pitch on the way. It is inside for a ball. So Cole in trouble. Let's see if he can get out of it. Better ask for a momentary time. Umpire says, get in there and start swinging. Here is the O, pardon me, the 1-0. It's blocked by Hohenschel, 2-0. Oh. So two balls, no strikes, second and third. Diamond with the top of the fourth and a 1-1 game. Cole ready and the pitch. It is on the corner. Two and one. Two and one. And Cole from the stretch. Hit to the right side. Should score the run. The second baseman kicks it. And not in time. The other runner over to third. Diamond has a two one lead. So that'll make it the second error of the game. As Adams couldn't handle it, then threw late to first. The run comes in. Diamond grabs the lead. So it's runners at the corners. Here is Cody Neal. Now we have Weiss coming in. He will hit for Neal. Sure, Neal will eventually re-enter, but kind of early for a pinch hitter, but Weiss bats here in the fourth. So he'll get it on the right side. So Diamond takes the lead here at two to one. So 
First and third, the runners. Cole gives a look over at first. And he'll throw over. And the runner back in. Weiss moving in. Stands deep in the box. Another long glance to first. And Cole will bring it. The runner goes. Pitch is fouled. So no balls on the strike. Back in is Weiss. Big yellow shoes wearing it. Definitely stand out. Pardon the pun. Chance for the pickoff play. They're going to go back to the runner. They drop it. The runner from third is going to hang on. They got a man in a rundown. Watch what happens here. They still throw back to the man. Now they throw home and safe. So they pulled off the double steal. As the runner from third waited to the precise moment to come down the line, and he beat the play. It was a good throw, but the, he got in under the tag. So a double steal, and the other runner down to second with one out. It's 3-1 diamond. And here is eventually a one pitch. Strike is called. No balls and two strikes. Weiss has been up there a long time. A lot of things have happened, too. And a look back at second, and the runner back in. Three in a row have reached. Two have scored for Diamond in the fourth. Cole brings it in, and it's up high. So ball and two strikes. Throw back to second. Now runner heads for third, and he is out over there. So they get him down. It goes 2-4-5, out stealing. So second out, and should be 2-2 two -two on the count, I think. Here is the pitch, down low. And the next one is on the way and goes out and away. So the count is three balls and two strikes. Weiss is going to charge overtime in this at bat. He's been up there a long time. Hasn't swung the bat, and a lot of things have happened. Swing and a miss, inning over. So the inning is over, but two score for Diamond, and they do it on two hits and an error, and nobody left. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Diamond three, Carthage one. Back at 90 seconds. Tiger Baseball, Music Radio 93.5. 1978, Reeves Tire and Automotive has been servicing the repair, tire, and wheel needs of the four states, offering a full line of tire industry top brands at competitive prices and car and truck repair with superior service and experience that can't be beat. Reeves Tire and Automotive is located at 2504 Grand Avenue and open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. Get rolling with Reeves and get rolling with the Carthage Tigers. Go Big Blue. Where will you be in four years? At Missouri Southern State University, we're here to help you achieve your life goals. Small class sizes allow you to develop a more personal relationship with your instructors and practice your skills in immersive environments. From a healthcare simulation center to crime scene investigation, state-of-the-art science labs, a mock courtroom, and much more. Study abroad opportunities can help you develop a global mindset. Learn more about our high-quality educational opportunities at mssu.edu. 
The love of a family is a very special thing. From the time we are children, it's our family that teaches us how to walk and how to talk, that gives us a sense of belonging. The wisdom of our grandparents is passed down through our parents and then on to future generations through our children. The love of a family never grows old. It just grows. A love that lasts forever. The Nell Mortuary in Carthage, locally owned since 1882. Then Stark will lead off for Carthage, down 3-1. to one. Diamond got two in the top of this inning. Swing and a miss. Carthage still looking for a hit. They've been given two walks. Marbo has set down the last seven. He set the side in order the last two innings. And the pitch is up high. So one ball, one strike. You get the swords to make some noise now. Down two runs. Strike is called. Looking. And it's one and two. And the pitch, ooh, almost got away, two and two. So two balls, two strikes to Stark. Three, four, and five for Carthage. And it is up high. And it's now a full count. You'll take a walk. Anything to get something started. Three, two pitch on the way, and he goes after a high pitch. It's popped up and out of play. Third base side. So Stark back to the box, and the three, two. That's ball four. That's the third walk given by Marbo and breaks his seven in a row string. And here's Zach Hohenshell. And we'll get a runner. Looks like York's coming back in. Now running number 11, Prelo, York. So now we have a mound visit by the Diamond coach, and we'll be a little further delayed. We will tell you that Diamond had a runner at third in the first, but had two on, actually a double play in the middle of that, and they left him in at third in the first. Carthage got a one-out walk to Morgan. He stole second and third and then scored on a wild pitch when Hohenshell was at the plate. Hohenshell then walked, but then Nolan Brown hit one high and far, but out in right field. Diamond came back with a one-out double by Gerdner, and then he scored on a throwing error by Tate of Carthage. Navarro then reached, but he was left on. And then with one out, Diamond got an infield single by Clement and Gardner on a double. Air by Navarro, and then the backside of a double steal got the other run in. So it's 3-1, Diamond. First pitch, instead of throw to first, is high. To the backstop it goes, and the runner should make second base. It takes a nice bounce off the fence, but runner will make it anyway. So a runner at second and nobody out for Carthage. So that'll be an E1, the first for Lamar. Carthage has two errors. And the pitch. That is shot past the shortstop into left, a base hit. The lead man will stop and his runners at the corners, nobody out. Well. Something might be shaking. That's the first hit for Carthage, and here is Nolan Brown. Brown in from the left side. Now at the plate, first baseman, Nolan Doing a lot of excavating there before he steps into the box. He's excited. He's pumped here. Let's see if he can deliver. First and third, nobody out. This is the first real jam that Marbo's been in. Has a two run lead. But those tying runs are on. Here's the runner bluffing from first, a swing and a miss by Brown. He 
thought about shooting it in over the right field stands, but no balls and a strike. And the pitch. Down low. Almost hit the dirt. One ball, one strike. Bluff back toward third. The runner has no business getting picked off, but it happens sometimes. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And out in front of that is Brown. One ball, two strikes. Don't need to do the pitcher any favors. One ball, two strikes. 3-1 diamond, but the tying runs are on for Carthage. Bottom four. Next pitch, the runner goes from first. Outside, they'll let him steal. And it's two and two, so the tying run is closer. Brown needs to make some contact. A little, even if all things are grounded to the right side, would get a run in and move the other one along. Here's a 2-2, and it's 3-2, and the ball goes to the screen. Here's the runner trying to score. He does. Now it gets by the pitcher, and the second baseman, I believe, is picking it up on the backup. But for the second time, Carthage scores on a wild pitch. The other runner to third, and still nobody out, and the count is now full. So it's a 3-2 game. Now a ground ball should tie the game. Here's the pitch, and it hit him. So it's first and third. So Marbo has hit a clinker right now here in the bottom of fourth. Brings in Brody Cole. And we'll get another runner. Be Zane Browning. So he'll run for Brown. So again, runners at the corners, but a run is in. Carthage looking for an RBI. Both have scored on wild pitches. Now Taylor Stevens Diggs is going to hit. He'll hit for Cole. And he'll pop it up. Right side foul ground catcher looking for it, and he has it. Here's a tag, and the runner trying from third. He'll score, and it's a tie game. Very alert base running there. They tagged on the foul ball, and nobody was covering home, and it's a 3-3 game. The other runner heads to second, and he made it. So some great base running there by the Tigers to tie it up. Now they will appeal, saying he left early. And there will be a discussion, so hang on. They're going to say safe. I thought the longer the conversation, the better it goes for the team that scored. So now it's a 3-3 game. When was the last time you got an RBI on a foul out? Carlton. So here's Carlton. And the pitch. He looks to bunt with two outs, and he does, and he will beat it out. Other man to third. Unusual play. Actually, there's only one out here, and he gets aboard. Everything else happened in this inning. I lost track of the out, so there is only one out. And Carlton reaches, and now we have another conversation with Diamond on the mound. So, so far, not many runs score, but it's one of those games that whoever scores immediately gets answered. Now it's time to widen the chasm a little bit here with Carthage, runners at the corners. And uh, 
So runners in second and third and one out. Here's the pitch. Apparently the balk was called. I didn't catch that. That's the only thing I had reason the man would be at second base. One ball, no strikes. And now it's even better. Second and third. Here's the pitch. This one's popped up on the infield, shortstop, and it is caught. Two gone. So Brown takes care of that for Diamond, and here is Cooper Lillenkamp. Second and third, the runners. And the pitch. Swing and a foul. No balls on a strike. Next pitch on the way. It is up high. And, oh, strike. Ooh. I people appreciate that one. That was... Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a swing and just a piece of it. It's a foul ball. Could barely hear it. So the count is two balls, two strikes. Two on, two out in a 3-3 game. Pitch on the way. Just inside. Three balls, two strikes. Ooh. Three balls, two strikes. Lillenkamp looking for that base hit. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and the game stays tied. So Barbo gets out of the inning, but Carthage comes up with two. And they do it on two hits and strand two, and they've left three. There was an error in the inning. And we go to the fifth. It is Diamond 3, Carthage 3, back in 90 seconds, Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Air Tax Service loves cheering on our Carthage Tigers. Mike and all the staff know our student athletes have worked hard this year, and they give a big hand to everyone who has helped and encouraged the Tigers to have a successful season. Zyder Tax Services, serving Carthage and the surrounding area with tax planning and preparation for individuals and businesses, is proud to be one of the locally owned businesses that support your Carthage Tigers broadcasts. Join Mike Zyder, CPA, and the rest of Zyder Tax Services as they cheer on our Tigers. Go Tigers! Boomer's Barbecue at 1123 West Central Avenue in Carthage cheers on our Carthage Tigers. From the coaches to the parents and teachers, it takes a lot of effort to help our student athletes and the rest of the student body reach their goals. And Boomer's Barbecue salutes all who make our Tigers great. Boomers is proud to be a sponsor of this broadcast, and they thank you for your business over the years. Once a Tiger, always a Tiger. Carthage alumni Willie Wagoner and the entire crew at Boomers Barbecue say, Go Tigers, go Blue! I'm Jeremy Jadwin of Jadwin Insurance. I wish the Carthage Tigers a successful year, not only in athletics, but also in the classroom. Conscientious and honest hard work are vital to achieving goals, and I look forward to our young students reaching new heights in their lives and giving back to our community as good citizens and business owners. As a parent of Carthage Tiger athletes, I'm proud to be a part of the Carthage Tiger broadcast, and I cheer on our Carthage Tiger. And when you need insurance, think Jadwin. Jadwin Insurance. Go Blue. Go Tigers. Pass. At the plate for Diamond. Nolan Brown now on the mound for Carthage, and Stevens Diggs moves over to first base. And that'll be in the number six slot. Pitch is a foul tip, and it's 0 2. McColl went the first four and gave up four hits. And he struck out six. And he walked one. 
and gave up the three runs. One of those was not earned. Here is uh, the one-two pitch. High two and two. Next pitch coming on the way. Swing and a miss. So Brown comes in and gets the first man he faces. So here's G. Martinez. He is the DH batting for Thomas Gow, who is the diamond center fielder. Pitch way high for a ball. He got an infield hit. That was followed by a walk, but a double play in the middle of it got him to third, but then he was left there after a strikeout to end the first. In the pitch, this one's pop foul. Next at bat, he struck out. That led off the third. That's the only inning Diamonds win in order. Brown, a lefty out there, and it's high for a ball. So a ball on the strike. Adam Brown will be next. And the pitch. It's a strike at the knees. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Up and in. Two balls, two strikes. Brown a little more deliberate than Cole. Although Cole did slow it down with runners aboard. A little quicker between pitches this time. The 2-2 is down and in. So it's 3-2. and two. A little cool, but virtually no wind. So you like that. You can put up with it being in the 50s right now. now it looks like we had an intentional walk. I don't know what happened there. The runner's down to first. So it'll be Martinez reaching with one out. And here is Adam Brown. Look to first and a throw. Three three game here in the fifth inning. Here's a look. Brown will bring it to Brown, and it's out and away. Ball one. Brown has walked and struck out. Nolan Brown to Adam Brown. Swing and a foul. So ball and a strike. Our next broadcast will be in Aurora as they'll play Stratford in the Shaver Classic. That'll be Thursday at 3 o'clock. Two glances at first and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him looking after it and went after it. And it's one ball, two strikes. One, two pitch, and just getting a piece of it is Adam Brown. Ask if he wants a new baseball, and Nolan Brown says, no, I'll take that one. Runner at first with one out. And the pitch, down and in. So it evens the count at two. Two-two. 
two two and we went to a crawl right now even pitch and we'll go further three balls two strikes So this meeting between Brown versus Brown has slowed down. Here's a 3-2. Instead, they go to first. They might have him picked off, throw down to second, and he is out. Well, they said he got the tag down, according to the umpire. They were contesting that maybe the ball came out. Apparently, he was removing the ball after the tag, so the runner is out. So the second time Diamonds lost a runner out stealing, that goes one, three, six. Well, now there's two out and bases empty in a three, two count. And the pitch, swing and a miss, he got out of it. So two strikeouts in the inning by Nolan Brown and they cut the other man out stealing. So minimum faced in the fifth, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Diamond to three. Carthage three back in 90 seconds. Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. There's Bicycle on the south side of the square, and the Hunter team of Pro 100 cheer on the Carthage Tigers. Zach Hess, along with Carthage alumni Alyssa Hess and Jim Hunter, know that goal setting and teamwork are crucial to making dreams a reality be it home ownership or staying fit and active. They want the best for our young students. Hess Brothers Bicycle, a full-service bicycle shop, proud to be a part of the local business community. And the Hunter team of Pro 100 salute the Carthage Tigers. Find them both on Facebook or the web. Go Tigers! Drew Evans Investment Companies of Whistler's Hamburgers and Daylight Donut cheer on our Tigers. They're proud to be part of this Carthage Tigers broadcast. Hard work, diligence, and persistence give big rewards in life. So make it count, Tigers. The owners and employees at Whistler's and Daylight Donut want only the best for our Tigers and the entire student body. Whistler's Hamburgers and Daylight Donut. Dine in or carry out at all locations in Carthage. Go Tigers. Go Big Blue. Sponsored by Drew Evans Investments. Your local shelter insurance agent, Stephen McKay, is proud to be part of the Carthage community and knows that planning for the future makes all the difference in a person's life. The personal values of hard work, truth, and honesty will help our young students become good citizens and the leaders of tomorrow. Stephen McKay of Shelter Insurance can help you get the right coverage for your family, home, vehicles, and more. Offices just east of Central and Garrison in Carthage. He's a proud sponsor of this Carthage Tiger broadcast and says, Go Tigers! Top three for Carthage in the bottom of the fifth, Adams, Morgan, and Stark. Carthage sent seven to the plate and scored twice to tie the game in the fourth. Here's the pitch. This one is pop foul. The only RBI came on a foul out by Taylor Stevens Diggs when the runner tagged from third and no one covered home. And he came in for the tying run. The other two runs have scored on wild pitches. So unusual way to get three runs, but it's enough to, for a tie. But you need to see if you can get something going on the offensive side. No balls and a strike now, one and one. Adams has uh, struck out and grounded out. This one is bounced to the plate, two and one. Marbo has had pretty easy innings except for that fourth. Two one pitch. Down and in. Three and one. Started off with a walk the last inning. Next pitch on the corner for a strike. <laughs> Here's the pitch. And grounded toward the right side to the first baseman and out at first. So unassisted. 
Well, somebody sat down there and asked if it was on the way. I said, well, I can't see first. Well, <laughs> and the ball goes to first. So anyway, well, nobody on one out. Normally, it would be okay, but here is Langston Morgan. He has walked and scored, and he hit back to the pitcher. But I have broadcasted around other obstacles before, so me being one of them. No balls, two strikes. Nobody on, one out. And it is grounded toward third. Bentley will have it, and a throw is not in time. Not hit sharply enough, and it's an infield single for Langston Morgan, so he's on for the second time. Carthage with three hits. And here is Ethan Stark. So here is Stark, and he's walked his last time. He struck out the first time. Look back to first. We've had a lot of throws around the base by both pitchers, and now three, actually three pitchers. Carthage is on their second pitcher. Here's the next pitch, grounded in the hole. Third baseman cuts it off, but has no play. It's first and second, one out. Throw back to second, and it's a wild throw into right. So the runners are going to move up. Second and third, an ill-advised throw. Actually, the runner did stay at first. I'm sorry about that. I was watching. First baseman was running towards second for Diamond. and So it's runners at the corners. So I guess you will not charge an error on the play. Yes, you will because the man moved to third. He was going to stay. So the second error... Could be a base hit and an error. So two errors for Diamond, so that evens up that count. Now then, Zach Here is Hohenshell. He's playing his first pitch. So runners at the corners, one out. And the pitch. It is a strike called. Next pitch. That's off the end of the bat. Right field line. Nobody can find it. And it is a fair ball. The runner's in from third. First baseman, he couldn't find it. And then it was too late for the other fielders to come after it. And Carthage grabs the lead at 4-3. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't pick it up right away. Three straight hits. Carthage with a one-run lead, first and second, with Nolan Brown up. So now he could be the winning pitcher. Came on in relief the top half of this inning. He swings and gets a piece of it, but it's strike one. Nolan Brown. He was hit by a pitch in the fourth. Fly to right in the first. Here's the pitch, and it is inside. So one ball, one strike. Four three Carthage. They've regained the lead. They had a one nothing lead. It was tied. Diamond led by two. Here's a throw to first, and not quite in time. Do they call him out? Now what's going on here? They called him out. Okay. So Carthage loses a runner over at first. So an out stealing there. Here is Brown waiting in the next pitch, and he swings through it. And it's one ball, two strikes. Well, that tempers the inning for the moment. One, two. Swings at a high delivery, and the inning is over. 
Carthage does get the lead on three hits, and they leave one and stranded four. And one error in the inning, too, I believe, yes. So we end five innings, and it is now Carthage four, Diamond three, back in 90 seconds. Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. American Title Insurance Company cheers on our Carthage Tigers. They know our student athletes have worked hard to make this season happen, and they give a big hand to everyone from the teachers and coaches to the families and student body who have encouraged the Tigers to have a successful season. First American Title Insurance Company, a national Fortune 500 company, is just north of the roundabout in Carthage. They're proud to be one of the locally owned businesses that supports these Tiger broadcasts. Go Tigers! Go Blue! Joe Ryder, your Carthage area Edward Jones financial advisor, understands the importance of setting long-term goals and building towards them each and every day through diligent hard work. Whether it's in the game or in the classroom, Joe wants the best of our student athletes and the rest of the student body. Joe has always supported the Carthage Tigers and is proud to be part of the community. Joe Ryder of Edward Jones at 2142 South Garrison in Carthage says, Go Tigers, go! Member SIPC. If your lawn is completely wild, it's time to bring in Turf Tamers and create a green turf that's calm and lovely. Turf Tamers will rid your lawn of the unwanted weeds and unsightly, funky grasses that have made your lawn a wild kingdom. Give them a call at 417-434-0810. When they arrive, you just leave it to them to tame that turf and have your neighbors admiring it. Turf Tamers, the name says it all. Turf Tamers, 417-434-0810. The law firm of Webster and Carlton knows that it takes more than athletes to make a great team. From the coaches and teachers to parents and extended family, it takes the entire community to support our student athletes and make the Carthage Tigers a success. Webster and Carlton is a proud sponsor of this Carthage Tigers sports broadcast, and they salute everyone. It's a 4-3 Carthage lead and a swing and a miss. We were one pitch in starting this inning. It's no balls, two strikes to Peyton Marbo, the opposing pitcher. Hmm. 0-2, and the pitcher on the way. Swing and a miss, but the ball can't be found, and he'll make first base. Swing and a miss, and the ball in the dirt, but the ball skipped by Hohenschel, and he couldn't find it. It almost looked like a bad hop grounder. Took one hop off the backstop, and then nobody could find it. So a, a strikeout and a pass ball, and the tying run reaches with nobody out. Now batting the third baseman, Bentley. So brings in Bentley. He has struck out twice. So as I said, not many runs, but one of these kind of games that whoever gets one, the next one's next inning. It seems to get answered. We'll see what Diamond can do. Pitch is high for a ball. So one ball, no strikes. Diamond scored one in the second and two in the third. Pitch coming. And he skips out of the way from a pitch by Nolan Brown. Two balls, no strikes. Carthage innings were one in the first, two in the fourth, and one in the fifth. So a drop third strike has the man on at first, nobody out. Pitch. It's pop foul, and it goes two balls and a strike. Two and one, Brown looks over at first and brings it to the plate. That's in the dirt. Hohenschel getting beat up here the last couple innings. Kept it in fair territory when he blocked it. That's three balls and a strike. A 
3-1 pitch is on the way. And ball four. So a drop third strike and now a walk. And we'll have a conversation on the mound. Carthage scored in the first with two outs on a wild pitch. Morgan had stolen two bases and got to third. He scored there. Diamond came back and matched it in the first inning. A double and then an error by the third baseman for Carthage. Diamond got two to go ahead in the fourth. That was on a one-out single, and then a double, and then an error. Carthage came back with a walk to lead it off, a base hit. The pass ball scored a run, a hit batsman, and then a foul out, which actually resulted in a run scoring. As nobody covered home for Diamond, and that gave him a couple of runs. And then Carthage took the lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. Two infield hits and a throwing error, and then a base hit. Diamond has a drop third strike and a walk to start this inning, and it's up high. So Brown's missed the strike zone all of a sudden. Came on in relief in the fifth. He got two strikeouts and walked a man, but picked him off. Do some fancy pitching now. Here's the pitch, and again, this one's low. He's been pretty much low here in this inning. And Hohenschel has been playing a hockey goalie right now. Two balls and no strikes. Time asked for, granted. The hitter is Clement. Duo pitch. Now step off. So this game is starting to crawl again. Two balls, no strikes. And the pitch. Inside corner strike. Very inside. The batter <laughs> kind of flinched. Kind of sucked it in there, but they call it a strike. Two balls and a strike. 4-3 Carthage here in the sixth. A couple of looks back in the pitch. Down and in. So it's now 3-1. and one. Brown threatens to put another runner on base. He had the man struck out to start this inning, but ball got away from Hohenschel. Three balls and a strike. And the pitch. That is hit foul. Very hard to pick up the ball right now. This gotten virtually dark here. Not quite, but all pretty much all the way. So three balls and two strikes. Full count pitch with two on, nobody out, is on the way, and a swing, and that hit the batter, that hit the catcher. Apparently it got a piece of the bat, because he's still there. Now Hohenschel goes out to talk to Brown, and that was brief. Nearly got him there, but he stayed alive. Braden Clement. Three balls, two strikes, yet again. And a step off. It's dark enough, I can't see the train now. So. Three balls, two strikes. Pitch coming. Goes after a high delivery. Will it stay in play? It's foul ground. Three people chasing. And they can't get to it. It didn't stay up long enough. Tate and Lillenkamp gave it a run, but fell between them. 
So another 3-2 will be coming our way. Will it be the last? Four three Carthage, but Diamond has the tying and go ahead runs at second and first. A look back, pitch coming, way high, and they're loaded up. So the third walk given up by Brown, and you see how much longer he will last. Coach back out of the dugout. We've had a lot of conversations on both sides so far tonight. And they are going to change pitchers. So while they change, we'll take a minute break and come back. Base is loaded and Diamond trailing 4-3, but like I said, they have the base loaded back here in one minute. This is Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. The law firm of Webster and Carlton knows that it takes more than athletes to make a great team. From the coaches and teachers to parents and extended family, it takes the entire community to support our student athletes and make the Carthage Tigers a success. Webster and Carlton is a proud sponsor of this Carthage Tigers sports broadcast, and they salute everyone who are cheering for our Tigers. The law firm of Webster and Carlton offices in Joplin, 417-781-5690. Go Tigers and go Big Blue! Manzer Family Medicine cheer on our Carthage Tigers. Dr. Manzer and staff know that striving for one's goals are the key to success in life, and they want our students to be the best both in and out of the game. Manzer Family Medicine is a comprehensive multi-specialty practice that is physician-owned and patient-driven. They have locations in Missouri and Kansas, with the Carthage Urgent Care open seven days a week for you and your family when you need care the most. For more information, find them on Facebook or manzerfamilymedicine.com. Go Tigers! Mary. Well, Braden Tate comes in from third, and he'll pitch. We'll get the defensive alignment here. Look, like Stevens Diggs will stay at first. Number five, Braden Tate. As he stays, Brown being a lefty, it's he's definitely not going to play third base. That's play for Diamond, left fielder. Kirk so we'll figure it out. Carthage with no numbers on their front side until he turns around. We'll then tell you who it is. I can tell you the bases are loaded for Diamond. And a pitch from Tate. That's a strike. No balls and a strike. Next one, off speed foul. So no balls, two strikes. The ball almost hit him in fair territory. So no balls, two strikes, a good beginning. Albeit bases loaded, nobody out. Tate trying to get Carthage out of this. And the pitch. Strike three looking and one gone. Let's go, so first strikeout for Tate. Here is Matt Navarro. He's reached twice on errors. Here's the pitch. Check swing, ball gets away, but the runners will stay. So have time for pitcher and catcher to again talk and batter out of the batter's, bo batter's box. No balls and a strike according to the scoreboard. And the pitch. Tried to squeeze and he'll pop it in the air. And out. Thank you very much. 
attempted squeeze, but he went up for a high pitch, and the ball went straight up. So now there's two outs, and it'll be Cody Neal. I talk about picking him up. This is the situation here for Diamond. Base is loaded, nobody out. Now it's two outs. And before we get going, the batter asks for time. And all too often it's granted. Now we got to go through the signs again. We'll be back after these messages. Here is the pitch. Up the middle, and Carlton will get it and race to the bag and got him. And Carthage wriggles out of it. What a job by Tate. And Carlton just beat that runner from first as he went into second. So Diamond loads the bases without a hit, but they strand three. And they have stranded five. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's Carthage four and Diamond three back in one minute. Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. American Family Insurance. As your American Family Insurance agent in Carthage, I'm looking out for what matters to you, even when nothing's wrong. This is Bob Brown from the Bob Brown Agency. Call me at 358-9715 and let's talk about your insurance needs today. American Family Insurance. For details, contact Robert Brown, agent at Bob Brown Agency, 417-358-9715, or stop by 1921 South Garrison Avenue in Carthage today. Odds Food Products is proud of our student athletes and supports this broadcast of the Carthage Tigers. It takes everyone working together to make a great team, and that applies to Odds Food Products as well. You've known Odds' stellar reputation for over 70 years and appreciate the consistent quality of their salad dressings and barbecue sauces. Check out their products at your local grocery store. It's all good at Odds. Odds is glad to be a part of the Carthage community. Go Tigers! Go Big Blue! Just as an athletic. B. Stevens Diggs deleted it off for Carthage here in the bottom of the sixth, and yes, it would be nice for more runs. What a job by Tate to get out of that inning. Base is loaded, nobody out. He got a strike out, a foul out, and a ground ball hard hit to Carlton, but he had to race to the second base bag, and the umpire gave him the call. Here's a shot. Deep left field. Goodbye. Stevens digs with a solo homer, and it's five to three. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I didn't have to. That was hit so hard. Left fielder just turned and gave it a salute. A polite one, though. But so Stevens digs makes it five three on a home run. That'll bring in Brady Carlton, Encore. Well, there's one run. Still like a couple more. Here's the pitch, and it goes down and away for a ball. One zero pitch floats in there at the letters one and one. It's a big way to start this bottom of the sixth with a home run. One one is now two and one. So two balls and a strike. Next one. Ground ball towards short and off the shortstop and no play. It'll be a base hit. He wouldn't have got him anyway. So Carthage took them a while to get a hit. They didn't get their first hit till the fourth, but they've racked him up pretty well since then. Seven total for Carthage, and here is Blaine Lillenkamp, the DH.
Pitch on the way, and it's up high for a ball. So a home run by Stevens Dix to start the inning, and then Carlton just got a base hit. And Carlton is off and running. The pitch is a swing and a miss. The throw is in time, but it goes by the shortstop covering. So a stolen base. But short hopped, and he couldn't pick it up cleanly. So Blaine Lillenkamp has a little easier time to maybe, maybe get an RBI. Here's a look back and another throw, this time to second base. The runner in. One and one. Here's the pitch. On the corner for a strike. So one ball, two strikes to Blaine Lillenkamp. Cooper Lillenkamp is next. 5-3 Carthage. This one is golfed down the right field line. Right fielder should get to it. He does. Runner tags. He's going to try for third. Play over there is not in time. Ball goes to the backstop, but the runner back to third. So at least they move the runner along. He's at third with one out. And here's Cooper Lillingcamp. Adams made a good throw, but it went by the third baseman. But they were backing up the play. So here's Lillingcamp from the left side. The pitch on the way. Strike. Runner at third, one out, one run home on the home run. Next pitch almost got the dirt. So one ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss out in front, one and two. Marbeau has been the pitcher for Diamond. He started off well, had a seven in a row streak early on, but then has struggled since the fourth inning. Count is two balls, two strikes. And swinging a high delivery there, he strikes out. So two outs. That's the sixth strikeout and the third time he's gotten Cooper Lillenkamp. So here's Mason Adams. Pitch on the corner for a strike. Diamond will have nine, one, and two in the seventh inning. Pitch, swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Next one on 0-2, way high. Our next broadcast will be from Aurora, 3 o'clock next Thursday, and it'll be against Stratford. And the pitch outside, 2-2. Two and two. Tigers will play here tomorrow, 3.30 against Lamar. Come back here on Monday at 3.30 against a Butler. They'll actually play two games in Aurora. At noon they'll play Aurora. Here is a pop fly. That's going to go out of play over the first base dugout. Then we'll have our game on Thursday at 3 o'clock from Aurora. Two balls, two strikes to Adams. He fouls another one. A home run and a hit a stolen base, the man moving on a fly out. And from an 0-2 start, it's now 3-2 and two to Adams. Adams is 0-3, a strikeout and two ground outs. 3-2.
Grounded up the middle, and that's going to be the shortstop going down for it. Throws, and safe. Run is in. Now there's Diamonds throwing both arms out, saying, I thought you called him out. And we'll have a timeout. But as now, the run is in to make it 6-3. to three. It was a close play over there at first. The runner went in head first. We've had a couple of calls that have been hesitant tonight, and I've <laughs> described it the wrong way, but we are going to count that run there. And it's Marbo going to check out, and Diamond will have a new pitcher. So good effort by Marbo early, but he struggled here the last three innings. And it'll be Matt Navarro to come in to pitch. He was at second base for most of the game. So while he goes through some warm-ups, let's take a one-minute pause. Six to three, Carthage, here in the bottom of the six. This is Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Just as an athletic team relies on teamwork to reach its goals, a business depends on its staff to complement each other's strengths and function as a team to achieve its goals. The certified public accounting firm of Schmidt Associates wants to be a member of your team and help you reach your financial goals. Their small business accounting, payroll, and advisory services could help ensure your financial success. Call Schmidt Associates at 358-6090. Schmidt Associates, more than checks and balances. Woodford is proud to bring Carthage High School sports this school year. Competition builds good character in our students, and a sense of teamwork and good sportsmanship only serve to make our student athletes better citizens. The employees and management at Woodford say, Go Blue, Go Tigers, and remember, Woodford delivers competitive deals every day. There's no need to leave Carthage to find a good deal on a new or pre owned vehicle. Woodford, part of Wood Motor Company, a solid name you can trust. Back to second base. I saw him there on the mound. It's uh, Stokes is going to pitch. Now faces the diamond, number 30, Stokes. So five and a third innings pitched for Marvo. And he's responsible for the man out there right now, which is at first base. Carthage right, just come up with two additional runs here, a home run to start right the out, inning. Fielder, Langston, Morgan. And now an infield single by Adams. Runner is off on the first pitch, and the ball gets passed to the backstop, and the runner down to second easily. They'll still call it stolen base there. He had it whether they threw or not. Langston Morgan up. He's been on base a couple of times. He scored once. Pitch. Strike on the inside corner. So one ball, one strike. 6-3 Carthage. Runner heads for third. Pitches a ball. Throw is safe. Runners at third now, so two stolen bases. It's two balls and a strike to the hitter, Langston Morgan. Here's the pitch. Through behind him. Three balls and a strike. One pitch coming from Stokes. Ball four. So that brings in Ethan Stark. He got an infield hit his last time. The other time he has walked and struck out. Inning started with a first pitch home run by Taylor Stevens Diggs. Since then a lot has happened, but only one more run has scored. 
It's runners at the corners here with two out. First arc. Runner off first, and it's high and no throw. So Carthage has been stealing the bases tonight. I like that. Make them throw you out. So second and third, and the pitch. Down and in. Six three Carthage. And the pitch. That bounces. So it's now three balls, no strikes. Threatens to put another one on base and bring up Hohenshell, who's two of his last two. Here's a 3-0, and it is ball four, and the ball gets away. Runner from third will score, and it's 7-3, the other man to third. So that's the third runner to score on a wild pitch tonight, or and or pass ball for Carthage. They had another one to score on a foul ball that didn't even make it to the first base bag. Nobody covered home on that one play, and Carthage alertly ran the runner from third, and he made it. So it's now a 7-3 game, as Carthage has crossed the plate three times in the bottom of the sixth. So Stokes has come on, and he has walked two. Here he is. Here's Hohenshell. So now the game has opened up to a four-run lead. Runners again at the corners. Runner bluffs from first. This one is fouled off to the right. Don't want to say anything bad to the home team, but right now it is starting to get a little colder, and so if you could oblige with an out here and then get the next three outs, we can go home. 7-3 to three the score. Pitch on the way. Need a little cooperation from everybody else, though. One ball, one strike. Here is the pitch, and it's now three and one. It hits the dirt. Seven three Carthage. They've opened it up here with three runs and have a chance for a couple of more. Pitch on the way again low. Runner down. They cut off the throw. The man steals second. And it's a 3-1 count. I was a pitch ahead there a while ago. Three balls and a strike. Now runner is second and third. Next one on the way. Strike. Three balls, two strikes. Carthage with one in the first, two in the fourth, one in the fifth, now three. Still going in the sixth. Pitch. Ooh, just missed. Ball four. So Carthage will bat around in this inning. So three straight walks by the relief pitcher Stokes. And we'll get a runner at first. Here's here's Colson Brust to hit. He came in and played third. And it looks like we're going to have another pitcher. So this inning will continue, unfortunately. So it'll be Schubert to come in, see if he can get that final out for Diamond. Morgan ended up uh, scoring the first run for Carthage, and then in the fourth inning, 
They got two, one on a pass ball, the other on an error. Chargers got a go-ahead run in the fifth. That was on a base hit, then an error. They got another base hit, but then lost a man. And then they started off this inning. Stevens Diggs hit the first pitch over the left field fence, and then an infield single to Carlton. A fly out and then a strikeout, but then they've had a base hit after two stolen bases. Scored a run. Now we've had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back walks. And it'll be Brust, who came in on defense at the top of this sixth inning. And what a... What a, a pitching performance by Braden Tate. He played third base most of the game, came in in relief, and Diamond had the bases loaded, nobody out. He struck out a man, had the next man foul out, and Carlton made a good play up the middle. The ball, unfortunately for Diamond, was right by the second base bag, and Carlton tagged it unassisted. Pitch hitting for Chargers, number 13, Colton <coughs> So here's Brust up. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. So no balls and a strike. 7 3 Carthage here in the bottom of the sixth. A long bottom of the sixth. Ground ball towards short. Shortstop gets it and throws him out. And the inning is over. But Carthage bats around. And they get three runs on three hits. They strand the bases full. They've left seven. And no errors in the inning. Three outs to get. Carthage leads seven to three back here in one minute. This is Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Just like a great coach, State Farm Agent Jerry Poston at 1601 South Garrison in Carthage can help you develop a game plan for your insurance needs. Whether it's car, home, life, health, or business insurance, Agent Jerry Poston can dig into the playbook and help you find the affordable coverage you need. When your life and goals change, Agent Jerry Poston will be there to help you adjust your insurance game plan with a free family insurance checkup. So, for all of your insurance needs, call on a winner. State Farm Agent Jerry Poston at 1601 South Garrison or call 417-358-5 is your office ready to be a workplace of the future? Does that mean whizzing around on hoverboards and robots answering phones? Maybe, but we'd suggest trying more useful technology first. Pierce and Kelly can set you up with tech that lets your whole team work from anywhere, collaborate on devices, and always have the information they need to do their job. Keeping up with technology can be stressful. We're here to simplify it for you. Whether your office has an internal IT team or not, we have options to fit your needs. Find us at pierceandkelly.com and let us make technology simple for you. Be the 9-1-2 and two hitters for Diamond. Kate Adams scheduled to lead it off. Looks like we're going to have a... I say that we're going to have a hitter for him. Be King off the bench. And he'll come in on the right side. Pitch from Tate's. And the pitch is fouled off to the right. See if he can have a good beginning and ending to this one. He came on with the bases loaded in the sixth and got the next three. The game stayed at 4-3, and then Stevens Diggs started off with a bang with a home run. Then Carthage added two more to make it 7-3, and it's 0-2 to King. The next pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. They'll have to go to first. And the throw is good. Brings in Martinez. He has an infield single. He is struck out and walked. How about the Disney hitter, Martinez? So he comes in on the right side. First pitch all the way is a strike. Nobody on one out for Diamond. They're down down four. It's seven three pitch. Strike call. 
No balls, two strikes. Next one. It is just high. One ball, two strikes. Next one on the way, outside. Nolan Brown would be the winner because he was still a <clears throat> pitcher of record and had the lead. And then Tate shut the door so Tate could get a save out of this. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Just inside. Three and two. Don't start that again. So three balls, two strikes. Nobody on one out. Pitch coming. Grounded toward Carlton at short. He'll take it in. He'll throw and just out. Two gone. Martinez can get down the line. Carlton kind of was semi handcuffed. He had to throw off the back foot, which slowed the delivery down a little bit, but he made the play. And here is Brown. How about shortstop? Brown. So base is empty. Diamond has only went in order once. Pitches inside. That came in the third. And they've left five. They've lost two on the base paths. Here is a 1 0. -oh. Strike 1 1. Next pitch, ooh, not given to him. Two and one, him being the pitcher. Two, one, and they won't give it to him there either. Three and one. So three balls, one strike, nobody on two outs. Seven, three Carthage here in the seventh inning trying to finish it out. Pitch on the way, foul back. So it's 3-2. So a full count pitch will be coming shortly. Brown is 0 for 2 with a walk. And the 3-2 pitch is not going to arrive for a few more seconds. The batter steps out. A quick respite, and here we go. 3-2, swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Carthage wins it by a score of 7-3. to three. They didn't really get going until the fourth inning, but they got two in the fourth, one in the fifth, and three in the sixth to seal it up. And we'll take a 90-second pause and come back. This is Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Carthage G3 Family Entertainment is coming this fall. Grab your family and friends and come experience the fun. G3 Family Entertainment features a 24-lane bowling alley, an exciting indoor playground for kids 2 to 12, a ninja tag arena, and a restaurant. Located behind Lowe's right here in Carthage. For updates and more information, please follow G3 Family Entertainment on Facebook. G3 Family Entertainment is a proud supporter of our Carthage Tiger student-athletes, and they can't wait for the fun to start. Local dentists Mark Westhoff and Carthage alumnus Katrina Wickland of Carthage Dental Associates cheer on our Carthage Tigers. They know that setting goals and working hard toward them are keys to every successful life, and they wish the Carthage student body and athletes the best of luck in the game and in the classroom. Carthage Dental Associates have been providing preventive and restorative general dentistry for you and your families for the last 20 plus years. And they're proud to be a part of the community and are grateful to be part of this Carthage Tiger broadcast. Go Tigers! Go Big Blue! If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I don't let anything come between me and my deals at McDonald's. I'm talking about buy one, get one for only a dollar. When I can choose one of my favorite sandwiches, like a melty cheeseburger, a tasty McChicken, or a delicious hot and spicy McChicken, and snatch another one for just one dollar. One thing about me, I know when to seize an opportunity, and I'm living for this deal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Your Carthage McDonald's restaurants, owned by the Marshall Rice family, a proud supporter of the Carthage Tigers. Diamond Wildcats put up a decent fight, but Carthage wins in the end as they score 
six of their seven runs from the fourth inning on and win it seven to three. Seven runs, seven hits, two errors, seven left. Diamond, three runs, four hits, two errors, and they left five. In relief, Nolan Brown will get the win. Although he started some fires in the sixth, but the fireman was Braden Tate. He came in with the bases loaded, nobody out in the sixth. Got the next three hitters. Then he pitched with two strikeouts in the seventh and earned the save. And Carthage wins it by a score of seven to three. Langston Morgan got a walk in the first. He then stole second and third, scored on a wild pitch. Diamond came back with a run in the top of the second inning with a double and a throwing error on the next batter. He reached on the air, then the run scored. Diamond got two in the fourth, a one-out single and a double, but then an error, and a man scored on a double steal. That made it 3-1, to one, and Carthage came back to tie it. That was an odd inning, too, a walk, a base hit, a hit batsman. The run scored on a pass ball. The tying run scored on a foul out by Taylor Stevens Diggs, but no one was covering for, well, pardon me, for Diamond, and the runner from third alertly came in to score, and that tied it up at three apiece. And then Carthage got a run in the fifth. It was a... A couple of infield singles, an error figured in that too as the throwing error scored the lead man. And then Taylor Stevens Diggs led off the six with a home run. Then it was an infield hit to Carlton. And then the next two were retired, but then an infield single after two stolen bases scored a run. Bases then got loaded. Another run came in on a pass ball and that made it a seven to three final in favor of Carthage. And we'll take another 90 second pause Come back, see if Coach will join us. And this is Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Dick Insurance is a proud supporter of the Carthage Tigers. Smart coaches build great team members. They have a solid game plan and only have the best equipment for their players. Dick Insurance applies this same philosophy when putting together an insurance program to ensure your Carthage Tiger family or business. When scouting for insurance, the right agent for your team is Dick Insurance. Give Dick a call at 417-358-4007. Go Big Blue! Let Community National Bank and Trust be the co-captain of your team at home. As a proud sponsor of the Carthage Tiger Broadcasts and a solid member of our community, Community National Bank and Trust can be counted on to provide you top-notch service. As a conservative and solid bank, they offer competitive loan rates and checking and saving accounts geared to reward you. Community National Bank and Trust is there to be a reliable teammate for you and your family. The local bank that's small enough to know you, yet big enough to serve you. Community National Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Just as an athletic team relies on teamwork to reach its goals, a business depends on its staff to complement each other's strengths and function as a team to achieve its goals. The certified public accounting firm of Schmidt Associates wants to be a member of your team and help you reach your financial goals. Their small business accounting, payroll, and advisory services could help ensure your financial success. Call Schmidt Associates at 358-6090. Schmidt Associates, more than checks and balances. As they led, and then Diamond tied it. Diamond took the lead in the fourth. Carthage came back and tied it in the fourth. Then a run in the fifth, and then three in the sixth. Takes care of the scoring, and they won it by a score of seven to three. Wait to see if Coach is walking this way. We'll, don't see him coming this way, but we'll catch up with him later if he doesn't. Nope, now I see him coming. So we'll try to stall around here for a few more seconds. As Carthage picks up their first win, a lot of things happen, and I'm going to talk to him. Maybe the first question I get to him is, a lot of odd things happen in this game. And uh, it was all rolled into one. No, you're good. You're good. i got to get the get, borrow his headset there. <laughs> good old live radio. Hang on a second. Yeah. And Coach Berge's here. I'll, <laughs> won't take too much of your time, but... Uh, that was a quite a rolled into one kind of game. A lot of strange things happened, but it all worked for the good. Yeah. Um, first of all, you know, Diamond's starting pitching through really, really well. We knew that he was going to locate on the outer half of the plate. Um, 
you know, I, th I think we still haven't made an adjustment to that. But on the other end of it, I was pretty happy with the comp with the way our kids competed. I told everybody um, going into this game, I wanted to see how we responded to adversity, and I think we did that really well. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of good base running too yeah. tonight. Yeah, and that's what I told the kids. Obviously, one swing kind of breaks this game open. But on the other end, I think base running kind of wins the game, and they did a yeah. really good job putting pressure on, on the other team and uh, made them make plays. And in the grand scheme of things, we – we probably stole that game on the bases. Uh -huh. And uh, that one play there was a, a foul out, and uh, I guess nobody was covering home. Yeah, the nobody bar. was covering home. Um, Zach saw it and went. You know, yeah. that was just headsy play. We always tell guys, if you hesitate, don't go. But if you uh, want to take it, we'll never yell at you for yeah. being too aggressive. <laughs> so, uh, But, yeah, that's a really big play, and Zach did a nice job. And then the, I think the pivotal part was the Nolan Brown, who actually got the win, but mm -hmm. Tate came in there and – yeah. Got the next three and saved it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think he uh, – bases loaded, nobody out. Um, you know, I I kind of wear that. I think I held on to Nolan too long, but I really thought he was going to find the zone, and he will. Um, uh -huh. I'm really confident in his ability. But, yeah, Tate came in and just – uh, dominated this, all three pitches over the plate. Um, I think he was out of the game, out of that inning, in what six pitches or seven yep. pitches? Did just did a heck of a job. Yeah, so one thing you got to do, and you got a one-run lead, is get more in that last at bat. So. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And they did that. And then, like I said, you know, I, I could not be more proud of uh, Taylor Stevens Diggs. Um, you know, he we told him to be ready to swing a bat, but um, <laughs> you know, he came in and ends up with a sack fly, I believe, but then obviously kind of puts an exclamation point on the game, and yep. that kid's been plugging away. Uh, he joined us late with basketball, and he's been working to find a swing, and, you know, he's been staying late. He's done a lot of really, really good things for us, and I, I'm, I could not be more proud of him. Well, Coach, thanks for coming yeah, by. No problem. We'll Thank catch you. up with you in Aurora yeah. next week. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, okay, thanks. And we'll come back with our Midwest Egg play of the game and come back in 30 seconds. Tiger Baseball Music Radio 93.5. Midwest Egg Supply is proud to support our Carthage Tigers in tonight's Play of the Game. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Midwest Egg Supply is the area's number one choice for all of your livestock needs. Lowest prices and a great selection on feed, pet food, seed, hay, protein tubs, and more. Midwest Egg Supply also offers delivery for anyone inside of 10 miles from Carthage. For more information about Midwest Egg Supply, check them out on Facebook. Open Monday to Friday, 8 to 5 and 8 to noon on Saturdays. Midwest Egg Supply where customer service is their name and loading feed is their game. Go Tigers! Play of the game came in a sequence, so actually three rolled into one there. Mentioned that Brown had struggled in that sixth inning. Diamond loaded the bases, started with a drop third strike and then two walks, but Braden Tate came in. He struck out Austin Gerdner, and then Matt Navarro apparently was trying to squeeze, and he went after a high pitch and bunted it straight up, and the catcher, Hohenshell, made the play. And then Cody Neal hit a hard-hit ball, but it went right behind the second-base bag, and Carlton got it and hustled to the bag. All of a sudden, Diamond had nothing out of that inning, and Carthage came back with those three insurance runs and won it 7-3. to three. Again, they'll play tomorrow here at 3.30 against Lamar, and then Monday back here against Butler at 3.30. Our next broadcast will be from Aurora at 3 o'clock as they'll play the Stratford Indians in the Roy Shaver Classic down in Aurora. So thanks to Ron at the studios and Caleb running the things and uh, uh, things. What are things, actually, anyway? It's <laughs> the stuff that I can't operate, but we will try to hook it up all again for next Thursday. That may be audio only, but uh, we'll check on that. But nonetheless, we'll be on the air around 3 o'clock next Thursday from Aurora. The final score here again, Carthage 7, Diamond 3, and good night from Lamar. Thank you for joining us for Carthage Tiger Baseball on KDMO and the Carthage Tiger Sports Network. We'd like to thank our proud sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Harrison Construction, Peachtree Dental, Lauren Beauty and Adam Bridges of Farm Bureau Insurance, Reeves Tire, Boomer's Barbecue, Tony Williams of State Farm Insurance, Law Office of Webster and Carlton, Sirloin Stockade, Cider Tax Service, Kelly Ott of Farmers Insurance, Community National Bank and Trust, Dr. Manzer, Wood Ford, Wood Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Bob Brown of American Family Insurance, Ott's Food Products, Joe Ryder of Edward Jones Investments, Levi Utter, Fair Acres Family YMCA, Missouri Southern State University, Jerry Poston of State Farm Insurance, Schmidt CPAs and Advisors, Nell Mortuary, Beimdick Insurance, Turf Tamers Lawn Care, Carthage Water and Electric, 
Ross Kennard, Wells Fargo Investment Advisors, Carthage Area McDonald's, Grace Lane's Bowling Alley, Daylight Donut and Whistler's Hamburgers, Clothesline Cleaners, Car Center of Carthage, J Builders, Carthage Dental Associates, Jeff Hodkin of American Family Insurance, Wilkinson Pharmacy, Roscoe's. And thank you for joining us on KDMO and the Carthage Tigers Sports Network.